much notice did Dr. Wee give you before he appointed you for the job? No, no notice, no notice. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we learn from zero. Yeah. Uh, like, like he, he told you two months beforehand that says uh, you were going to help PKA. No, I think about one, two weeks. One, two weeks. Uh, it's just, it's just a hint. It's just a hint like, uh, yeah, maybe I'll put your name into Port Clang. Mm. Then the news broke out. Oh. Then you I got the... Really yeah, then the, the reporter called me. Uh. Uh, you know, we got the news that you are going to PKA chairman. I said, I didn't receive anything. There's no black and white. It's just a hint from the minister. Mm. So then uh, the SSK sent me the letter. Uh, from that, I only go down to the port to visit the port somewhere in July, I think. So now uh, you were appointed to your position last April. So now it has been a year. Can you tell us how has your experience been? After one year in office, it's mostly, mostly under MCO. Mm. Uh, nothing much we can do at MCO time, very little little meeting that we can have, very little interaction with international uh, player that we can, we can do. Uh, previously, as PKA chairman, you are supposed to visit a lot of ports and shipping company uh, to, to get them to, for more calling into the port and to bring the port op uh, operator for international uh, meetings and, and forum and as well as supporting uh, the minister for overseas visits to get more investment. But everything has to stop because of the pandemic. Uh, no one's allowed to leave the country and no one allowed to come here. A Zoom meeting doesn't really help uh, sometimes. So uh, we have a port alliance between Malaysia and China. And that didn't take off last year because we cannot meet, we cannot visit. So we don't have any any kind of uh, meetings uh, for that matters uh, because everybody is also handling their own problem internally. When I was appointed at that time, one of the most uh, hot topic or heated discussion was within shipping line and uh, the consignee and the forwarder uh, on charges on deposit they need to give to a shipping line uh, ranging for few hundred to few thousand per container. Uh, they even have a quarter openly on, on media when I was appointed. So we managed to get them for discussion, series of discussion. Now we have four initiatives. Uh, the insurance uh, system to replace the deposit. So finally we resolve every single uh, shipping line except uh, for them to choose from these four different initiatives as replace for the deposit. Because it's about whether my container can come back in good shape without scratch and damage. You know, how to claim if, you know, dispute of claiming. Uh, all this thing we sort of settle the issue. So that was the first challenge that I had uh, when I was appointed in April, May, June at the time. Arbitrator of sorts. Right, right. So it's, it's, it's very challenging as well as very exciting uh, job to do in PKA. Mm -hmm. um, but I, we, don't, we don't involve uh, in daily operation. We have a general manager and, and the whole team of uh, operation. Mm -hmm. But what the board should do is to make a policy or to have a future planning to see how port clang how to bring port clang into a, a next level and also of course to study in uh, other ports like singapore ports and shanghai ports how how do they make things more efficient how do they make more alliance with shipping line uh, as i say uh, very exciting for port clang for the coming years, extension of Westport, Cary Island, uh, PGFZAC are now fully uh, rented out, uh, so no more space. Uh, a lot of talking uh, and the minister have also indicated that we should uh, explore a new land for the, another PGFZAC kind of model to cater for uh, higher demand now.
up and until we have a concession and and they felt that their fruits are stuck in the pot then they realize how important the pot is I don't uh, before I took over this position it just feel like it's only for businessmen for uh, logistic company it actually affect every one of us so the the, the pandemic the MCO have seen how important ports are to the country. It's, it's a lifeline. Um, if compared to Singapore, Singapore is really depending on their port. They, they made up their, their whole economic uh, piles are all depends on their airport and their seaport. So Port Klang and all the other ports are also uh, taking over as an important gateway for the country.